Venture into the heart of Yemen, a land where ancient history and modern charm converge, and the birthplace of coffee. From its strategic position on the Arabian Peninsula to its rugged mountains and fertile valleys, Yemen is a country of breathtaking diversity. Join us on Open Tierra to explore Yemen's rich cultural heritage, its complex history, and the economic challenges and recovery efforts. Yemen is located in Western Asia on the southern end of the Arabian Peninsula. It borders Saudi Arabia to the north, the Red Sea to the west, the Gulf of Aden and Arabian Sea to the south, and Oman to the east. It has a strategic location along one of the world's busiest trade routes for oil shipments through the Bab el Mandeb Strait. Yemen controls the desert interior of the Arabian Peninsula to the north and east of the country. The Tihama coastal plains and islands of the Red Sea lie along its western coast. The southwest border of Yemen has coastal plains fronting on the Gulf of Aden and Arabian Sea. Yemen shares land borders with Saudi Arabia to the north and Oman to the east. The boundary with Saudi Arabia is vaguely defined in places. The interior of Yemen contains rugged mountain ranges running parallel to the Red Sea coast, rising in places to over 3,600 meters or 11,811 feet. The Yemen highlands include the Sarawat Mountains along the Red Sea and the Jabal and Nabi Shu'aib in the central part of the country. Yemen has no permanent rivers, but does have rainy seasons when torrents flow through mountain wadis. The empty quarter desert occupies much of eastern Yemen near the border with Saudi Arabia. This is the largest contiguous sand desert in the world. The Ramlat al Sabaatayn Desert sits along the southern coast on the Arabian Sea. These desert plains see high temperatures. Water scarcity and declining water quality from overpumping of groundwater affects Yemen. Additional environmental issues come from overgrazing, soil erosion, desertification, pollution from the oil industry, and threats to Socotra's unique plant and animal life from development. Conflicts over the last decade have hampered efforts to address environmental problems as well. Yemen is home to a population of over 32 million people with a rich cultural heritage stemming from its strategic location at the crossroads of Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. Its diversity is reflected in its ethnic, linguistic, and religious composition after centuries of rule by various empires and kingdoms. Ethnically, most Yemenis are Arabs, though Yemen has been influenced by Africa and is also home to South Arabians, descendants with ties back to ancient kingdoms. About 60% of Yemenis are ethnic Arabs, while 40% are of mixed Arab and African descent. The main language spoken in Yemen is Arabic, specifically a Yemeni dialect of Arabic. However, it also has several minority languages, including South Arabian languages, like Mary still spoken by groups whose ancestry traces to ancient Yemeni kingdoms. The religion in Yemen is almost entirely Islam, though it has both Sunni and Shia Muslim communities. About 65% of the Muslim population belongs to the Shafi school of Sunni Islam. The remaining 35% are Shia Muslims of the Zaidi sect, also known as the Fivers, who are concentrated in the north and west. Yemen is located on the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula, with a cuisine shaped by its arid climate, Islamic culture, and ancient spice trade routes. Today, we'll explore some of the hearty stews, rich gravies, and flavorful rice dishes that make up distinctive Yemeni food. First is the national dish, fassa, a lamb stew made with fenugreek and served over flatbread or rice. Large chunks of tender lamb simmer in an aromatic gravy with spices like turmeric, cloves, and cardamom. Beans, peas, or lentils are common additions too. 
It's the perfect fuel for a cold night in Yemen's mountain highlands. Another popular meal is sahawik, a sweetened pancake wrapped around a spicy filling. The pancake is made from a dough similar to Ethiopian injera bread, while the filling contains meat, vegetables, or eggs in a seasoned sauce. Sahawik makes for tasty, portable Yemeni street food. No Yemeni meal is complete without salta, a greasy, frothy green soup served as an appetizer. Its tangy herbal base comes from fenugreek, coriander, yeast, and lamb bones, slow cooked for hours. Salta is poured over torn up bits of unleavened bread, onion, mint, and lemon juice right before eating. Sayadaya is a rice dish cooked with caramelized onions, raisins, lentils, and spices topped with fried fish. It likely originated as a dish for fishermen wanting something satisfying yet easy to prepare while out at sea. The sweet and salty flavors perfectly complement the crisp, freshly caught fish. Yemen has a long and rich history owing to its strategic location on trade routes between Asia, Africa, and Europe. Yemen's culture has been influenced by various regional powers that have controlled its territories over the centuries. Yet Yemen has also retained its own unique identity and cultural traditions over time. The history of Yemen stretches back to ancient times. Yemen was home to several powerful and influential kingdoms, such as the Sabaean, Himyarita, and Menaean kingdoms, which controlled the profitable spice trade routes. The legendary Queen of Sheba possibly came from what is now Yemen. These kingdoms built great water drainage systems and stunning architectural marvels. They were influenced by African, Mesopotamian, and Persian civilizations over the centuries through migration and trade networks. In the 7th century CE, the region adopted Islam after interaction with the new faith from the Arabian Peninsula. Yemen soon came under control of different Islamic caliphates and dynasties, while retaining regional rule by tribal confederations. A succession of Islamic dynasties left their mark on Yemen's architecture and culture over the next thousand years. In the mid-16th century, much of the country fell under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman administration was largely indirect, allowing traditional Yemeni tribal society to carry on with a fair amount of autonomy in the rugged highland areas. The cultural influence of the Ottoman court was felt more in urban centers like Sana'a and Taiz. Coffee was introduced to Ottoman territories during this period as well. In the late 19th and early 20th century, tribes from northwestern Yemen broke free from Ottoman control, eventually establishing the Mutawakalita Kingdom around Sana'a, based on Zaidi religious traditions. However, southern and eastern Yemen remained loosely aligned with Britain as protectorates until later gaining full independence, showing the enduring tribal and geographic divisions within Yemen. Following a coup in North Yemen in the 1960s, then later revolution in South Yemen, the two halves of Yemen were formally unified as the Republic of Yemen in 1990. The country continues to struggle with conflicts between differing tribal, religious, and geographic factions up to the present day. Its history and strategic location ensure the country will remain highly influential in the region despite its many challenges. Yemen is a lower middle income nation whose economy has a $21 billion GDP, displaced people, poverty, and environmental decline. Come along as we explore the factors shaping Yemen's economy to better understand daily struggles and future possibilities for Yemenis. In Yemen's major cities, there is significant economic deterioration crumbling infrastructure beggars on dusty streets, closed factories, and businesses. Why is this once relatively prosperous Arabian land now in economic crisis? Yemen has faced political instability and violence for over a decade since the Arab Spring uprising and civil war 
disrupted economic activity. Several buildings have been destroyed by airstrikes. Years of fighting have led to food and healthcare shortages. Fuel and electricity networks strain to operate amid damaged infrastructure. Climate change exacerbates the country's water scarcity. With limited natural resources, there are few new opportunities, government mismanagement, corruption, and Yemen's status as an economic backwater in the region contribute as well. In the past, modest oil exports boosted government revenues, as did migrant worker remittance and transit trade activity owing to Yemen's location near the Gulf and major shipping lanes. But reserves dwindle while conflicts and instability reduce investment and opportunities. Yemen has faced immense political instability and violence for over a decade since the Arab Spring Uprising of 2011 and the country's subsequent descent into civil war. The roots of the current strife extend far back in Yemen's complicated history. Previous conflicts stemmed from rivalry between the military-backed authoritarian government based in the capital Sana'a that ruled North Yemen for over 30 years before unification with the socialist state of South Yemen in 1990. Lingering tensions remained between different Yemeni groups. The Houthi rebel movement from northern Yemen, adherents of the Zaidi sect of Shia Islam, launched an insurgency in the 1990s, partly due to concerns over political marginalization. In 2011, the Arab Spring protests in Yemen forced longtime President Ali Abdullah Saleh from power. His replacement struggled with continuing economic and security crises. In 2014, the Houthi rebels captured Sana'a with help from Saleh and his supporters, prompting current President Abdrabu Mansur Hadi to flee. This sparked fighting between Houthi forces and supporters of the new government, backed by Sunni Arab states like Saudi Arabia and UAE. A Saudi-led coalition has launched airstrikes trying to dislodge the Houthis, destroying infrastructure while further devastating Yemen's economy and harming civilians. The civil war underscores Yemen's deep social divides, from tensions between the formerly separate northern and southern Yemen states to sectarian splits between rebel Zaidi Shias and Sunnis to resurgent Al-Qaeda-aligned extremist groups. So far, international peace efforts have failed while people suffer from violence, displacement, lack of critical resources, and spreading famine. Yemen faces a desperate humanitarian crisis, stemming from internal turmoil and external intervention with no end in sight. If you enjoyed this video on Yemen, you'll love this next one.